So I recently tried some cheap meals here at Hungry Horse and thought they were pretty good. So I think it's about time I try some of their more expensive options. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. So let's get in and get ordering. So this is gonna be quite interesting trying out a more expensive meal here as the cheap ones have been great value. But as the price increases, the quality and taste needs to increase too to make it still good value. How is this gonna go? Let's head in and find out. The menu at Hungry Horse has good offerings at all price ranges and all types of food too. Some that you might not expect to be on a pub menu, one of which I'm going to be ordering today. It's on the super special section and it's the jerk chicken and wings. Plus I had to get it with a cup of tea, which again came in a paper cup. It's the second time now that this has happened. I'm presuming that there's a job opening for pot washer in the kitchen here. So if you're interested, get applying. Anyways, let's have a quick drink before the food arrives. Right, so here is the Hungry Horse jerk chicken and wings. I'm pretty impressed. Let's have a closer look at exactly what you get. You get a portion of chicken wings with what looks like a jerk sauce on top, a pot of some kind of sauce, the half roasted jerk chicken with a chili herb garnish, a pot of coleslaw and some rice and peas. Let's get eating. I'm going to start off with the chicken wings. You get five in a portion and these look to be fried first and then the jerk sauce is put on top. It's a thick sauce, it doesn't seem to run at all, let's see how it tastes. Very nice. You get the flavour of the jerk sauce straight away, it's got a bit of a kick to it, it's a bit spicy, it's a bit sweet, it's a bit salty, so all the flavours. The chicken is actually very succulent and moist, not dry at all, and because it's deep fried first, you get a crispy outer layer that gives a bit of a crunch to the bite. These are good chicken wings. I like them. Let's move on to the rice and peas. I've never understood why it's called rice and peas because there's never any peas in there. It's always a type of bean. If you know the reason for the name, comment below. Either way, let's try these one out. Not bad. With the red colour, I thought there might be some tomato in there, but it's not, it's red pepper. There doesn't seem to be much flavour to it. The rice is soft, the kidney beans in there are soft too. I think it could do with a flavour boost, so more jerk seasoning needed. I'm going to try out the coleslaw next. It looks to be really creamy and have all the usual ingredients. I'm guessing this is going to be used for all meals that include coleslaw. Let's give it a try. It's okay. You definitely get a crunch from the veg as soon as you bite into it. You get the subtle flavour of the cabbage and carrot, but the creaminess is not quite there. The texture is creamy, but the flavour is not. It kind of tastes like a plain yoghurt with veg. Okay, it's time for the jerk chicken. It looks to have a good layer of the jerk seasoning on it, some chilies too, although I'm not sure if I'm going to be eating those. Let's cut off a bit to try. I'm going to start off with the chicken breast first. Is it just me or does it kind of look a bit on the dry side? Well, there's only one way to find out. Eat it. It's dry. I mean, you do get the flavour of the jerk seasoning, so spicy, sweet and salty, but the chicken is way too on the dry side. In fact, if you didn't have any of the jerk seasoning on it, I think it would be quite difficult to get down. Let's move on to the thigh meat, as normally it's a bit juicier. I've cut off a piece here and it kind of looks a little dry too, 
Let's give it a try. Better. It's not as dry as the breast meat, but still kind of dry. You do get a subtle chicken flavour, but the seasoning on the skin definitely helps again. There is something though that might be able to save them both. The little pot of sauce that came with the meal. It's an orangey yellow colour. I'm guessing it's going to be sweet. Let's try it. Nice. The sauce is good. It tastes like a mango sauce. It immediately moistens up the chicken and makes it a much better sweet flavour. You'd need this on every bite for sure. Speaking of which, it's combo bite time and I have the sauce all over this first bite. It's the jerk chicken, the rice and peas and the sweet mango sauce. Here it goes. Nice. This next one has the coleslaw on it, which again you definitely need. Coleslaw or sauce to add that moisture is essential. Let's try it. Very good. There is just one last sauce I want to try with the chicken though. The sauce that came with the wings. It was great with the chicken wings. Let's see if it's great with the half roasted chicken. It's not bad. This was a great looking meal on the face of it. All the right ingredients were there and props to a pub for even offering something like this. I don't imagine many do. Unfortunately, it didn't quite live up to the billing. Individually, the items were slightly lacking, well apart from the wings. So every bite needs to be with everything else to make it worthwhile, which is what I had to do to finish off this meal. So that was an okay meal. The chicken wings were surprisingly delicious. So the total cost of all that food was 16 pounds and 18 pence. Let's see how it compares with a restaurant version. So the restaurant I'm heading to for this comparison is a place called Turtle Bay, which is a nationwide Caribbean food chain with locations all around the UK. So the perfect place to go. The inside is rustic with the decor and has a certain charm with the open kitchen at the back so you can see all the chefs at work and smell the delicious food cooking. The menu is a good size with a lot of options available from small plates to brunch items, curries and even puddings. So a wide variety of choice. You can get lost just reading all the various dishes. For me, the one I'm getting is the char grilled half chicken with slaw and rice and peas from the jerk pit section. Plus a drink, which is not a tea this time. I went for a ginger beer. It came a little bigger than I expected. I thought it would be a can, but it came in this huge glass. Let's take a sip. Very refreshing. You can taste the ginger in there for sure. You get a big kick from it as soon as you take the first sip. It's warming in flavour, but then you get the ice which balances it out. It's a good drink. Okay, so here is the meal I ordered. Let's have a closer look at exactly what's included. You get a decent portion of rice and peas, although I don't see many peas in there. A tiny bit of coleslaw, I mean you couldn't get any less if you tried. And then the big char grilled half jerk chicken that kind of looks like a giant turkey leg. Let's dig in. I'm going to start off with the rice and peas. A little different from the pub version. It's not as colourful, but I think this is probably how it's supposed to look rather than red with the peppers in it. Let's see what it tastes like. Amazing. This rice looks pretty plain, but let me tell you, it's full of flavour. I was shocked at how great it tasted. It has a really nice comforting, almost buttery flavour, and it's really fragrant too. You do get a few, I think it's kidney beans in there, that melt in your mouth as you eat them, and you get a subtle allspice flavour that rounds it off. One of the best rice dishes I've had for a while. 
Next up, I'm going to give the coleslaw a try. As mentioned, not the biggest portion. I better not take too much on this first bite or else I'm not going to have any left for the rest of the meal. Here it goes. Pretty good. You get a fresh crunch from the veg as soon as you bite into it. The flavour is creamy, more creamy than the pub version. It's a good slaw. Not too special, but good. Okay, it's time to try out this chicken and I can't wait. It does look heavily charred, so we'll have to see if there's any impact on the flavour, but it does look fantastic. Let's cut into it and get a piece to try. The skin just looks so flavourful, glistening in the light. The chicken seems fresh and cuts well without crumbling any of the meat. I can't wait any longer, so let's go in for a bite. Delicious! The flavour from the skin is what you get straight away. It's salty, sweet, spicy, herby, all the flavours you could want. There's no burnt taste either, even though it's well charred. The actual meat is soft and succulent. There's a bit of moisture, but the flavour of the jerk kind of makes your mouth water as you eat. I have to try out a bit of the thigh meat, as it's normally juicier. Again, you've got that great flavouring on the skin. I think I might be looking forward to this bite more than the last. Here it goes. Amazing. It's definitely softer and juicier than the breast meat. You get the flavours from the jerk seasoning for sure. And you can tell this is a fresh chicken cooked to order rather than one that's been frozen for a while. You do get some sauces at your table and I think it would be rude not to try them. So let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to start off with the jerk barbecue sauce first. And this is almost as hard to get out as ketchup. Although I did eventually manage to do it in the end. I'm guessing it's going to be like the jerk seasoning already on the chicken, but more intense. Let's find out if it is. Delicious. It's a more intense flavour for sure. Everything you could taste before is just enhanced to the next level. Let's move on to the yellow sauce. Maybe this will be sweeter like the mango flavour sauce from the pub. It looks sweet and I've got a good coating on the chicken. There's only one thing left to do, eat it. Spicy. This is not a sweet sauce at all. I should have read the bottle. It's a really spicy hot sauce. Use sparingly. Okay, I think it's time for some combo bites. This first one is the lovely chicken with the jerk seasoning the fragrant buttery rice and peas, and the coleslaw. Here it goes. Amazing. I have to do one with the jerk barbecue sauce too, as it's just gonna lift up all the flavors and make it a flavor bomb in my mouth. Let's eat it. Delicious. And for the ultimate bite, everything on the plate including both sauces so the really spicy one and the sweeter jerk barbecue one i don't think you can sum up ultimate bite more than this incredible the food here is great decent portions for the price well apart from the coleslaw i would have liked a little bit more of that and then it would have been perfect presentation wise rustic but very appetizing the flavours were on point and I don't think you even need the sauces if you don't want them. The meal is good enough to have as it is and I combo bited my way through it till the end. What a great meal that was. The chicken was really nice and surprisingly the rice too. So the total cost of all that food was £17.20. So which was the better meal? Comment down below which one you preferred. 
For me, it's a pretty obvious decision. Turtle Bay takes it. The price was about the same. The amount of food was about the same too, even though you got the chicken wings at Hungry Horse. The half chicken was a little bit smaller. So overall, about the same amount of food. And on taste, Turtle Bay takes it for sure. So overall, they are the winners for me. Okay, if you like the video, click on the thumbs up icon below and click on subscribe to come along for the next food journey. And I'll see you there.